Hello, everyone. Uh, we're so excited to welcome you all to the Arctic Nut Conference 2021. Um, at, the, at this conference, we will want to look at the future of indigenous and underrepresented languages and their presence and use in the Wikimedia projects. Let me see. Uh, the, sorry. <laughs> uh, the conference will provide a space and focus for indigenous and under, underrepresented language communities to connect, learn from each other, and collaborate. Uh, as you may know, uh, Wikipedia has more than 20 billion page views per every month, uh, and it's one of the first stops when people search for information. Uh, it's a cornerstone, cornerstone of the digital age, uh, but the information within Wikipedia is unfortunately not evenly represented across languages. Um, the Wikimedia movement is about to start implementing the 2030 movement strategy, uh, and the UNESCO International Decade of Indigenous Languages will start in 2022. Um, the International Decade of uh, Indigenous Languages points to the potential of digital technologies in supporting the use and preservation of indigenous languages. Um, these two milestones give us the opportunity to look at look into our future efforts for language diver, diver, diversity sorry, on the Wikimedia projects. And during the conference, we will discuss how to uh, how we can work together to make indigenous and underrepresented language communities grow. Uh, the Arctic Knot Conference is part of the Celtic Knot series of conferences, which was first uh, organized by Wikimedia UK in various locations in UK, and then also in Ireland in, um, in cooperation with the Wikimedia Community Ireland. Uh, and this is the first conference which is outside of uh, the UK and Ireland. Uh, and we're very lucky to have um, been given the opportunity to borrow the conference from uh, Wikimedia UK. Um, this conference is led by us in Wikimedia Norway, uh, Wikimedia Norge, um, and we're doing this in collaboration with the Arctic University of Norway, located in Tromsø, uh, and Wikimedia UK and Wikimedia Deutschland. Uh, and the conference will focus on Arctic and Sami languages, but really we have content from languages from all over the world, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're also happy to have Wikitangs and art and, art and Feminism as part of the organization team for the conference. All right. So if you see this slide here, uh, this is the, the languages that people have uh, reported to to speak <laughs> during the registration process. If you fill in the second uh, second form, let me just show this in full screen. As you can see, there are of course plenty of people who speak like the big languages: uh, English, German, French, uh, and whatever. But there are also so many small languages that uh, are represented in this conference in some way. Uh, maybe it's not the first language of the people who are participating, but still, it's uh, pretty cool. And I think this presentation gives it a good, uh, how do you say, uh, give, gives it a good idea of how multilingual this crowd actually is. So kudos to everyone who, who registered. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so I think I think there are actually sixty different languages represented here, and and if you look closely, you'll see that Dagbani is actually well, the one, two, three, four, five, the fifth uh, most spoken languages language in this crowd, which is super impressive. So uh, the the Dagbani crowd has done a great job in uh, in outreach for the conference, <laughs> really. So I'm super excited to have everyone with us.
Um, all right. Uh, with, we have a lot of content in both in the main program and in the video pool. Uh, hopefully, you've seen the video pool already because we opened it a couple of days ago. Uh, but there will be more chances to to watch the content from the video poll during the conference as well and after, of course. Um, I think we have about twenty countries represented as well with speakers, uh, based on a rough count. But uh, it's a pretty international conference. Um, yeah. Uh, and one of the things we want to celebrate in the in the conference is just the, the progress being made in with minority indigenous underrepresented languages, and I think one good way of uh, of showing the progress that has been made in the past few years there is actually to show this uh, list of newly created wikis uh, from the incubator, uh, and this first screenshot actually only shows. Uh, 2021 and like the last part of 2020. Uh, but there's been a lot of good progress uh, going on. I, I mentioned Dagbani already. Uh, the Dagbani language doesn't actually have a Wikipedia yet. It's set to be created anytime now, as soon as the developers find time. Um, so that will be one of the newest Wikipedias, hopefully like within uh, this week or next week probably next week. Uh, and you also have uh, Wikipedias in so many languages. And of course, when there's a new Wikipedia, it will almost always be in a small language now, because obviously all the big languages are already represented. Uh, and you can see we have Wikipedias in, uh, for example, Taroko and Atayal, which are uh, uh, indigenous languages from Taiwan. Uh, and they're following following the Zakizaya Zakizaya Wikipedia, which was created in 2019 as the first indigenous language uh, Wikipedia in Taiwan. Uh, and we also have uh, Wikipedias in uh, uh, Altai and um, uh, Mon, uh, Nias, uh, uh, and what else? Yeah, plenty of different languages. Oh, uh, and I see Inari Sami at the bottom here. Uh, we're lucky enough to have a presentation from uh, one of the main contributors to the Inari Sami Wikipedia later on. So make sure to catch that. Uh, yes. All right. Um, yeah, uh, one thing I want to, the next thing I want to show you is, uh, how the platform and, uh, and, uh, well, how, how the different things in the conference work basically. So let me just, uh, find the thing and share my screen. All right, so here you see the, the entrance page for KikoChat, which hopefully most of you are on now. Uh, you might be watching this live on directly on YouTube, which is fine. You're uh, welcome to do so if you wish. Uh, but KikoChat is like the main venue for the conference. Um, and inside KikoChat, we have several different rooms. Uh, there's the main room, obviously, which uh, uh, includes the live stream that you're probably watching right now, if you can hear me. Uh, but then there's also, uh, we have this program room, which is uh, basically just a program page from Meta, but 
conveniently placed inside of KikuChat, so you don't have to uh, switch tabs all that often. Uh, and for each talk in the program, there's a link to the Etherpad notes, uh, where you can uh, put questions and comments and whatever, and it will be preserved uh, later on for uh, uh, after the conference is finished. Basically, it will be converted into a wiki page, so it doesn't live on Etherpad forever. Uh, and we also have the, the social room, uh, which hopefully people will use a little bit, at least. Uh, and the social room has a join video link at the top, uh, which will take you to a Zoom room where you can talk to other participants about whatever you want to talk about. And uh, we have a music room. Uh, you may remember the question in the, in the registration form about uh, the music, uh, well, video suggestions for a playlist, and this is what those suggestions are used for. Uh, so Parshish has put together a, a playlist for us, uh, and I mean, it starts with the same video at the same, always because that's how the embedding works. Uh, but if we click the uh, the list of videos in, in the top right of the video, you can see all of the suggestions. Uh, all of the videos that you have uh, submitted. So there's a lot of different, uh, mainly indigenous music to, to choose from if you want to uh, listen to something. Uh, and we also have the resources page, which basically just uh, tells people not to have seen it to go to Kiko chat. Uh, and it also lists the uh, the Telegram channels that are used for the conference. Uh, so we have the announcements uh, channel, which is like, well, if you don't want all the chatter from the other channels, just join the announcements channel to uh, to get to know what's happening at the moment. Uh, but we also have the general discussion group on Telegram, which is uh, meant to be used for you know discussion discussing the actual content of the conference. Uh, and we have the social group where, where you can discuss whatever you want, really. Just be social. <laughs> uh, and finally, there's the Wikimedia Language Hub board, uh, which is a Jamboard. Uh, actually, I wasn't able to, to embed it, so you have to click the Jamboard link that appears when you, when you go into the room. I hope that's not a big issue. Uh, but basically, what we want to do is to collect ideas about this uh, Wikimedia language hub idea that we've been floating around for the past six months, I think. Uh, so make sure to check that out and put up post-it notes or whatever we, to just give some feedback. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, oh yeah, um, the hashtag for the Wikimedia for, sorry, for the Arctic Knot conference is hashtag Arctic Knot. Um, you can use it on any social platform you want. Uh, and yeah. Mm, anything else? If anybody has any questions or comments or whatever, just use the Telegram channels. Or if you're if you don't want to use Telegram for some reason, then send us an email at arcticnut at wikimedia.no, uh, and we'll try to help you with whatever. And finally, I'd like to remind everyone that uh, since this is a Wikimedia conference, we will be following the universal code of conduct for the Wikimedia movement. Uh, and my boss, Astrid, has made a, uh, a video about this. so. Let's watch it. Thanks. Welcome, everyone. I'm Astrid Carlsen, the executive director of Wikimedia Norway. At this event, we ask everyone kindly to follow the universal code of conduct for the Wikimedia movement. This universal code of conduct defines a minimum set of guidelines of expected and unacceptable behavior. It applies to everyone who interacts and contributes 
online and offline to the Wikimedia projects and spaces, and it applies to this virtual event. At this event, we expect everyone to treat each other with respect, civility, companionship, solidarity and good citizenship. Harassment, abuse of power, privilege or influence and content vandalism and abuse of the projects are considered unacceptable behavior at this event. If there are any incidents you would like to report, please reach out to me. Actions that contradict the Universal Code of Conduct can result in sanctions. These may be imposed by the event team and or by the Wikimedia Foundation as the legal owner of the platforms. In the Wikimedia movement, we believe in empowering as many people as possible to actively participate in Wikimedia projects and spaces to reach our vision of a world in which everyone can share in the sum of all human knowledge. I hope you will enjoy this event and contribute to making it safe and welcoming for everyone who participates. All right, thank you to Astrid. Uh, and now I'll give it over to Richard and Daria from Wikimedia UK who would like to say a few words. You're on, guys. Folks, thank sorry. you. Hi. Um, hello, everybody. So this is a, a quick word from the co-organizers of the Arctic Knot, uh, Wikimedia UK. And just to warn you, we are doing this a little bit as Oscar's host style uh, dialogue. Um, I hope you will forgive us. So um, hello, this is uh, Daria as uh, Daria Zabuska. I'm the director of programs at Wikimedia UK. And with me, there's Richard. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm a program coordinator at Wikimedia UK. And uh, Wikimedia UK originated and supported the language conferences under the banner of uh, Celtic Knot since 2017. Uh, it was first hosted in Scotland, uh, then Wales, Cornwall. And last year, we worked with uh, Wikimedia Community Ireland. Um, to host an online conference, although it was with its heart in Ireland. Um, it was one of the first online conferences for us and we were very excited then. And today, as I'm sitting in the very same spot, I hope uh, that you are as excited as me to um, join this year's conference, which is run in partnership with uh, Wikimedia Norway, the main host, um, delivering this conference through a lens of Arctic uh, languages. And I hope you have been admiring the beautiful logo, which tries to reference both the Celtic knot connection and some uh, beautiful Sami design elements as well. Uh, looking back then, if you have attended any of the past conferences in the audience um, and have a favorite memory it would be great to share either on youtube uh, channel or in telegram it would be great to see but uh, richard do you have a favorite memory from past conferences it's always tricky to pick a favorite especially since it's been going for so many years um so i'm going to cheat and pick two um so for me what really stood out last year was the um online uh training in Irish dancing. Um, I didn't get to participate uh, because I was in a very small room at a time mm -hmm. and I would have tripped over absolutely everything. Um, but that was lovely because it, it really complemented um, the conference program and it was it brought about that social side of things. Um, the great thing about this conference is the connections you make with other people. And the other thing which stands out is something from the very first conference at the University of Edinburgh. And I remember hearing about uh, postgraduate students um, and how they were translating articles um, and how they reflect on how important that was and what they got out of it and the role of Wikipedia in sharing information. Um, and for me, that really showcased just how important events like this are. Um, and that's why I'm so glad that Wikimedia UK can be a part of this. Right. So 
maybe digging deeper into that then why would you say it's important to have wikipedias in so many different languages so i think it'd be easy but also wrong if the internet ended up being dominated by just one language or a handful it's so important to have information available in your native language um, if you're trying to find stuff in your second or even third language if you're that impressive um, there's a chance you might not be getting the full information the full picture of what's going on um, so we've tried to do our part with that um, through our work with the national library of wales who've been sharing information on welsh wikipedia around health issues um, and as we are all acutely aware right now having information in your first language to do with health is so important and so yes it's all about being able to find information which is relevant and speaks to you um i agree <laughs> and um so you you've mentioned some of the some of our work in 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 wales and in, on welsh wikipedia which i know is um present in this year's program um, what else would you highlight as uh, some of the interesting talks to tune in uh, today so, and tomorrow? Yeah. Um, do check out the video pool. Um, there are some excellent contributions in there. It is well worth your time. Some really interesting stories coming through, um, especially from National Library of Wales, of course. Um, there's also a workshop from SOAS, University of London, um, to do with um, archiving and endangered languages. So that's going to be a nice hands-on workshop. That should be really good. Um, and yes, personal highlights. We'll be hearing about um, events at Scott's Wiki over the last year mm -hmm. from Sarah Thomas. Um, so they've had some very challenging uh, circumstances to face, but how they've responded to that is really interesting and how they've been resilient. Uh, I won't give too much away because uh, I don't want to give spoilers, but it's, it's going to be a really good story. And uh, maybe to add to that spoiler, um, I know that Sarah is an excellent uh, public speaker and really engaging. So I'll definitely be tuning into that one as well. Um, and just looking at some of the comments, I think uh, there's been some other fans of the Irish dancing as well, Richard. So you're not alone. And uh, generally a lot of memories connected to music. There's been some um, singing on top of a hill in Aberystwyth as well that somebody cherishes as a memory. So I hope in this year's conference we'll also build some memories to come back to in the coming years. Um, I think this is it from us for now. Um, ov back over to Jan. Thank you very much, Daria and Richard. Uh, all right, now over to Astrid. Hello, uh, everyone. I'm Astrid Carlsen, the executive director of Wikimedia Norge. I now have the privilege to, of introducing Aili Keskitalo. She is the president of the Sami Parliament of Norway and one of the members of the steering committee for the UNESCO Decade of Indigenous Languages that are starting in 2022. 